This is He Knows Everything, bringing you the heat and fire. Dear Terrence Crawford, man to man, why did you do PEDs for this fight? Why did you do performance enhancement drug for this fight? Why did you do snacks? Let me say it again. Snacks. Undetectable PEDs. There are PEDs. There are performance enhancement drugs that cannot be detected. This is how advanced. This is how technological savvy performance enhancement drugs have become. Why did you load your gloves? Why did you pack them? Why did you give us a Cotto and a Margarito type of fight? It's a things that make you say, hmm. It's a things that make you say, hmm. But I believe in its most cold hearted. I believe in its most unadulterated. And I believe in its most cutthroat, true telling fashion variation. You were scared. You were barking. You were chihuahuaing. You was raffing. You see what I'm saying? You was raffing. And you figured, let me load these damn gloves up. Let me pad these damn gloves up. Let me turn around and let me get on this performance enhancement drug cocktail. Let me get juiced. Let me get this turtle back. You never had Victor Conte in your corner. You never enlisted snack, but you did when you had to face against Mr. Tactical Aggression. You never did this before, but you did it when you had to face Mr. Technical Punching Placement. You never did this before, but you did it when you had to face Mr. Body Snatching, Work the Levy Onslaught of the Punishment Style. What this tells me, what it alludes to, the defining truth that it gives me in terms of verification, in terms of variation, in terms of appropriation, in terms of accreditation, and in terms of validation is as simple as this, that you were scared. So you had to go get the snack certification. Woo. What I said was so deep and profound. Let me let that marinate in the corpus callosity and in the cerebellum. So hear me, hear me. Motherfucking well, you were scared, so you had to go get that snack certification because you understood that was the only way you were going to be certified against the Megalodon shark. Just finished watching the movie Meg 2, and it was very clear go the ahead, Megalodon you know. shark has no <sighs> predator, it is the predator. But Urdu Chu Smith became a prey to your predator. When we know you are a barking Chihuahua and you see what I'm saying? The Chihuahua and wasn't coming out because that's how scared you were leading up to this fight. Even you knew that. That's why you enlisted the most illegal substance band doper in the business in Victor Conte because you understood that your fate was going to be tactically aggressed. That your fate was going to be technically punching placed. That your fate was going to be body snatching worked. You didn't want to deal with a levying onslaught. You didn't want to deal with a conglomeration of punishment. You didn't want to deal with a stimulus package of punishment. You didn't want to deal with punishment nevertheless. You didn't want to be on the side of fate of punishment on the menu during the beginning and after. You didn't want to face that. You wanted to be on that side of things. So you supersized yourself. You supersized me. You know, there's a movie called Supersize Me. Not the bad variation to where cholesterol levels, to where high blood pressure, to where motherfuckers getting fat. No, you supersized yourself to where now you are more muscular, to where now you put on an extra 30 pounds. You never had punching resistance like that. So dear Terrence Crawford, why did you become a cheater? Your legacy now is stained. It was already Chihuahua barking. So now it is non-credible. You've gone from smoking mirrors, Chihuahua barker, to non-credible. You are not credible because you are a cheater. You are a doper. You are a loaded and padded lover. Let me say it again. You are a cheater. You are a doper. And you are a loaded and padded glover. 
This is the legacy that you have left, the legacy of a fake fight, the legacy that your win is not certified. Your win is not authorized because boxing fans see the true boxing eye test. Boxing fans are basically disturbed in their spirit because their spirit is telling them there's no way that you won that fight. You want to know why they came to that conclusive state, why they came to that resolute state, why they came to that finality state, why they came to the totality state, because they understand that Urdu Chu Spence is durable. Urdu Chu Spence is built too big, too durable, and too four tough. But then you make him start bleeding, splatting blood out in the ring in the first round, doing things that fighters have never done before, things that you have never been documented being able to do against fighters, neurological supposedly damage. It's a things that make you say, hmm. It's a things that make you say, hmm. So dear Terrence Crawford, you ain't got to worry about he knows everything. You ain't got to worry about everybody else. You have to look at your rabid ass self in the mirror. Be honest to the boxing community that they're living in an illusion. They're living in a matrix and that you were on loaded and padded glove style and that you cheated and that you took the snack cocktail. This was the only way that you were going to win a bullshit and a fuck shit cockamamie fight. That's the cold hearted. That's the unadulterated. That's the cutthroat truth teller fashion. I keeps the foot on the what on the eggs. I keeps the foot on the what on the eggs. P.S. Terrence Crawford, you should be ashamed of your rabbit ass self. And if I was you, be honest, come out of this clean and tell Omaha, Nebraska that you are a doper. You are a cheater. And you are a loaded and a padded lover. I re keeps the foot on the what on the dicks. I re keeps the foot on the what on the dicks. Terrence Crawford, <laughs> stop the presses and pump the brakes on the nonsense and go sit down somewhere. And what? You get the biggest higgity fucking hush of the damn day. This is He Knows Everything. Check it out.